Now we're ready to ask the question, how well do the two previous problems model the data shown in the graph? Well, we had our first model, and it was represented by income, and we used the formula y equals mx plus b. And if you recall, m was 43, our slope, so we have y equals 43x plus the y-intercept was 575. Well, we decided after 14 years when x was 14, the income was about $1,177 billion. So let's check that out right now. y equals 43 times, let's substitute 14 in for x, plus 575. And when we do the multiplication and then add 575, we do get 1,177. Next, we modeled the benefits. And with the benefits, we were given the model B is equal to 0.07x squared plus 47.4x plus 500. Now, let's see when we substitute 14 in for x. Then our benefits equal 0 0.07 times 14 squared plus 47.4 times 14 plus 500. We can quickly do this arithmetic on a calculator, and that gives us 1,177.32. So, how well do your previous two answers model the data shown by the graph? I would say very well.